When I think about the bush that led our forefathers to the bush, my blood wants to gush. What a sweet, bloody crush. It must have been a strong desire. No, it must have been a fire. A fire that could not be extinguished by the dripping blood when flesh met iron. <clears throat> they who fought without a single misery, they whose blood <coughs> makes our land fatter. Your scars may not have healed, but your glory will never fade. <coughs> Thanks to thee, in 1963, our flag went up the tree. In 1963, we were declared as free. I don't disagree that we are free. But to what degree? <laughs> you, our grandfathers, when you see what is happening, do you ever think you fought for zero? If you had seen this coming, would you have still gone down the farm? Or would you rather have done farming or baby making instead of being called a hero? Do we share the concern? that some of us may have been removed, that some of us were tricked, like the hare and the hyena, to kill our mothers, and as we hit our mother's heart, the hare was striking a drum, drinking from a bottle of rum. Do you think that we triumphed before the victory? Or is it that we over-celebrated history? Or do we just confuse the means for the end? Where did the rain start beating us, if at all it's beating us? Come you, our God of Fathers. Let us sit and explore the current state of affairs. Tell us whether you like what you see. Has the original Mau Mau Zil been weathered by the storm of time? Has the murder of the objective been marred by the mud of greed? Have we lost track and plunged into the forest of oblivion? Has the art to forge forward died? Or are we caught up in the traffic of tribalism and corruption? When we ruffle our pills with you in history, do you feel not late? Is it that we are on track and have only been delayed? Our fathers.